What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I have got another money method for you guys to make yourself a bit more money in Red Dead Online. For today we are heading all the way to this location right alongside the Kamasa River at this point here and it's also beside the Van Horn Trading Post. Here is actually a very good location because you are able to go and get yourself bluegill, rock bass, sockeye salmon and also pickerel and if you are lucky as well when you come to this location you will also have a gang hideout on this hill right here so that is also another way in which you can make revenue but if we're just looking at this spot right here all you have to do is stand on this rock right in the middle of this river and just throw your fishing line in as soon as you do that all you have to do is wait for like maybe five maybe ten seconds and you'll be able to go and catch yourself a fish and it's pretty easy there's no big fish in this location so it won't take too much time to go and reel them in the hardest fish to reel in is sockeye salmon but as soon as you reel that in it is definitely worth it because sockeye salmon goes for two dollars and fifty cents and you should be able to go get yourself anywhere between six sockeye salmon all the way up to a full satchel which is ten the other fish in this area you should easily be able to go get yourself ten fish of each type so you should have ten fish of pickerel you should have ten fish of bluegill and you should have ten fish of rock bass which means once you go and take this to the butchers you'll be making yourself a decent amount of money another good thing about this location is that because you're in the forest roundabout this area there is a lot of stuff to hunt and just doing a couple minutes of hunting I managed to go and find myself a couple deers I managed to go and find myself some turkeys there's also some boar that spawn in but I've only seen one or two of them so it doesn't seem like they are that reliable but you can go and find yourself a lot of other animals in this area one thing that I have noticed is that with this area I seem to find a lot more smaller animals than what I do in other areas so I'm finding a lot of squirrels which normally Normally I don't hunt because they're sort of hard to see as well as they don't go for too much but there is a lot in this area and there's different types of squirrels as well so definitely keep your eyes out for them because they will make you some decent money. Obviously when heading back you're going to want to go all the way down to Saint Denis and as you're going down to Saint Denis you can just hunt in Saint Denis as well where you'll get all the birds and we all know how good Saint Denis is just outside Saint Denis in the swamp area how good that is to go and get birds you'll also have crocodiles and all of that other stuff which you can go and get put in your satchel as well as put on the back of your horse because you should have that free unless you put a deer carcass back there. Once you go and take that to Saint Denis all you want to do is go and sell everything at the butchers as soon as that's done is head all the way back up here. If you want to skip the hunting in Saint Denis and just go straight to Saint Denis to go and sell everything you can go to the Van Horn Trading Post where there is a fast travel and fast travel to Saint Denis and the fast travel point is just round the corner of the butchers in Saint Denis. If you are going to go and fast travel make Make sure that you jump off your horse and then go into the fast travel instead of sitting on your horse and then fast traveling. If you sit on your horse and fast travel, any carcass that you have on the back of your horse that is good, perfect, will be poor as soon as you fast travel. By getting off your horse and then going to the fast travel point, then pressing triangle or Y depending on what console you are on and then fast traveling to the location, you can then whistle for your horse to come back, your horse will spawn back in or come to you and that carcass on the back of your horse will be the exact same quality as before for no change it won't decrease or anything like that which means you're just making a bit extra money when you go and take it to the butchers but anyway guys that is just a quick money method i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to so see you